One of the biggest problems with my Toyota Corolla is that it's really boring to drive and it stinks inside. So in order to remedy this, today I'm going to show you how to chop the top off of your Corolla. So I'm going to be chopping off the B pillar over here as well as the C pillar and removing the back glass. Now the back glass is held onto the body by a urethane sealant. So I'm going to use a knife here and I'm just going to cut along the perimeter of the glass all the way around. Now I've ran some bicycle cable through the sealant of the back glass here and I'm just going to run it in a zigzag pattern all the way along to cut the sealant as I go around the perimeter. Now that the back glass is free from the body, I can pick it up and remove it from the vehicle. Now as you can already tell, I've got the interior stripped out and that will help with cutting the B pillars as well as the C pillars so there's no trim in the way. Now the top here, you're going to want to disconnect your dome light wiring and anything that runs on top of the roof. Now up at the top here, we have this beam that reinforces the windshield so you're going to want to keep that and when you make your cut along the roof, you're going to cut behind that and then around here. Now you're going to want to remove any trim along the outside that's going to bother your cut. So I'm going to make an incision along the B pillar over here. I'm going to place this tape on here as a guideline and it will be at the same level as the door over here. Now I'm going to chop this B pillar. Now I'm going to mark on the C pillar where I want it to be cut and now I'm going to chop the C pillar. Now I'm going to lay out some tape on the top of the roof where I'm going to make my cut. Now I'm going to make my cut along the roof. Now with all the pillars chopped off, I'm going to remove the roof from the vehicle. And that's pretty much what a topless Corolla looks like. Now also as a bonus, I've got myself a free table where I can put my tools or my parts on. Now you can learn a lot about unibody cars when you chop them in half like this. You can see this outside part here, which forms part of the quarter panel, is just a skin. And then on the inside here we have two pieces that overlap each other in a C-shape that create this C-pillar for the structure of the car. The next thing I need to do is remove the top of the door frames. Now in order to remove the frame from the rear door, I need to remove these toothbrushes here that are holding the rear window up. Now I'm going to remove the rubber that goes around the windows. Now because this glass is going to jiggle around when I'm using the saw, I'm just going to use my brother's toothbrush here to secure the glass while I'm sawing. And now I'm going to remove the door trim from the rear door on the B pillar. And now I'm going to remove the door trim on the back. Crap, I think I cut my brother's toothbrush in half. Shoot. And now I'm going to cut the C pillar door frame. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. And this is pretty much what the car looks like with the top removed. Now all that's left is to replace the entire interior. Alright, I've got the carpet in there. I've got the rear seats in. Now I've got the dashboard installed. And finally I've got the front seats installed to complete the interior. Now the interior here should have no problem airing out that stinky smell from this topless sedan. And that's pretty much all it takes to transform your boring beige Corolla into a unique, fun and ultimate driving machine. Stay tuned because next time I'm going to show you how to swap a 2JZ engine into your Toyota Corolla.